Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching JavaScript for Beginners Lesson 25 and in this video we're going to start splitting and slicing strings. Wow. Alright then guys, so in the last lesson I talked about strings and I said that there were many different methods built into JavaScript that we can call on strings and by methods remember I mean functions. So there's many different functions built into JavaScript that we can use on strings which is really cool. And I'm going to show you two in this video, two of the, in my opinion, better ones. And the first one is the slice method. So first of all, let's just declare a string, var str, which stands for string, right? Hello, world. And that there is our, oops, not wordle, world. That is our string. So if we call str now, we get hello world. Now say we want to slice that string into a different string. Say, for example, I want to slice it right here after the E and right here before the R, so we've got low woe. Now, don't ask me why I'd want to do that in this case, I don't know, but you may have a, a JavaScript program where you want to slice a string into a particular segment, so this is going to do that for you. First of all, we're going to declare str2, a new variable, and we're going to say that equals str, which is this first string, and then we're going to call a function on this string, and to do that we need to put a period or a full stop, and then say the function name, and it is slice. Okay, and remember every function that we call, or method that we call, needs this kind of a parenthesis after it. Okay, that calls the method. Now, if the method requires variables that we have to pass in to this method, then you'd put them in here, and in this case, it does, it requires two. Well, actually, it requires one, but you can put two in, and I'll show you both. So, say we want to slice it from this L right here. What we do is we specify which character in the string we want to slice it from. So, it's zero-based JavaScript, remember, so characters start at position zero. So, this is position zero, this H, E is one, and then L is two. So, we're going to start at position two, right? So... We want to go right up to this R, or just before it. So, position 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is the space, 7, 8, 9 is the R. So, we say we want to end it at 9, and that's going to cut it just before the R there. All right? So, we don't need that space. Let's put a semicolon at the end and return. Then, if we call str2, we can see now we have lowo. Really cool. All right, now, I said you could pass just one a variable or argument as they're otherwise known into this function and it's the first one the starting point so let's do that let's make var str3 a third string and let's set that equal to str which is the initial one we defined up here dot slice and then we'll just put two in and see what happens let's call str3 and this time we get low world which basically says that they've cut from here, position 2, and they've gone right to the end. And that's what happens if you don't specify a second value where you want to end the string. It cuts it off at the end. Alright, so that is slice, my friends. The next thing I want to show you is split. And split is a function which takes a string, and it splits that string up into different pockets and puts those pockets in an array. Now, I know we've not covered arrays. We're going to do that in the next lesson. I just wanted to show you this now. It's kind of like a gentle introduction to arrays. So, let's define a new variable. We'll call this tags. And you know, like if you create a post online on WordPress or something, and it asks you for tags in one of those form fields, it says sometimes separate your tags by a comma, right? So that's what we'd do, and then maybe in the JavaScript, we'd grab all those tags in a variable, and it looks something like this. Uh, say we're doing a blog on meat. So these would be the tags, meat, ham, salami, pork, beef, uh, chicken, yeah, chicken. Okay, they're all our tags. So... If we call that, we get the string back, which is all the tags. Now, oops, I've misspelled pork. It says proc, but that doesn't matter, right? If we want to split now this um, string so that each one of these meets is defined in its own little pocket in an array, then we can do that. We'd say var tags array. We're just defining a new variable there. That's all. And we'll say tags dot split and we need to specify at what point we want to split this string or at what character and we'll say comma and that there is saying whenever you see a comma I want you to split this string 
So every time there's a comma, make a new pocket and put the next thing in the pocket. Does that make sense? It'll make more sense when I press enter and I call tags array. Now there, my friends, you're going to see an array. And I know you've not seen this before, but like I say, we'll cover this in the next lesson. But basically what's happened is when we've said split on this tags variable, it's split this variable, this string, into an array. And each position in this array, each pocket, is being defined by this thing here. Because whenever there's a comma in the string, it's splitting this string and putting whatever was before it in a new pocket in this array. Makes sense, yeah? It will make even more sense when you know more about arrays, and that's what we're going to cover in the next lesson. If you want to learn more about strings, you can head over to this uh, Mozilla guide here, the developer guide. I'll put the link in the description down below. And if you scroll down this page, you can see all these different methods that are on the string and you can go through those and try a few of them out. That's a really cool little website this. So yeah, if you have any questions on anything I've done in here, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise guys, I'll see you in the next video where we're gonna look at arrays. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy these videos and I'll see you guys in the next video.